Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick video comparing the YSL card holder to the Chanel card holder. And um, I just got the YSL card holder recently because um, I have been using my um, Chanel Iridescent Beige card holder exclusively. And I realized that if I was using this every single day in and out of my pocket and out of my purses all the time, I would probably see wear and tear more quickly than later. And so I wanted a card holder that I could alternate with this so that I wouldn't um, be just using one exclusively and just, you know, wearing it down to bits. So that's why I got the YSL. And I have owned the YSL card holder in the gray and calfskin with the yellow gold hardware previously. However, I sold that one in order to get my timeless black um, classic Chanel card holder, which I also sold when I got the iridescent beige. And um, the reason I sold the YSL was because I preferred um, the Chanel. It just was more easier to use and so that's why I sold that one and then um, I wasn't happy with the look of the caviar on that piece so when I saw this one I got this and I decided I was just gonna sell the timeless classic because I knew I wasn't gonna really grab it um, and use it more so anyways um, I do still after using these two for a while now I do still um, agree with my initial impressions that I do love the Chanel much more than the YSL and it's much more user friendly and I will get into that as I show you the comparison. So let's first start with the YSL. As you can see, it is um, the green calfskin with the So Black hardware, which I absolutely love the look of this. It has the two um, slips in the front, two in the back, and then, oops, sorry, and it does have the middle compartment right there. And so this is um, the YSL. The Chanel one has the one pocket in the front, two in the back, and then the middle compartment as well. So it's pretty much the same except the YSL has one more pocket, slip pocket in the front. Size-wise, they are absolutely comparable in that the height is almost exactly the same even though this one does have two slots in the front as you can see however the width the chanel is about a quarter of an inch wider and let me put them down like this maybe it'll show a little bit better exactly what i mean but as you can see right there it's about a quarter of an inch wider and that quarter of an inch actually makes this Chanel much more easier to use. And I will show you why, because when you put the cards in, this gets really, really tight. And I now remember why I didn't like it in the first place. It was because the card slots get so, so tight. And I do hear people say that it does loosen up a little bit after use for a while. However, it's still super tight and I don't like it because of the way I use it. So. Let me do this off camera. I'm gonna put some cards in here and show you what I mean. So most of the time I will put in um, one card into each slot. I don't like to um, double up because I don't like it to be too loose. And then, um, or I don't want the card holder to stretch out. And also because when you put two in, then it gets super, super tight so that it's really, really difficult to use. And I will show you that in a second. So currently I have one card at each of the front slots and the back slots. And now, as you can see, I can not get this middle section open. I mean, it is so tight that I would not be able to really easily put anything in here, even a card. But normally what I like to carry in the middle compartment is cash. And I have about five bills here. But when you try to put bills in here, fold it in half, I really have to push super hard to get it in. And even taking the cards out, it's just really difficult to do. And so that's why I feel like this one is a bit more difficult to use than the Chanel. And I will show you what the Chanel looks like with all of this inside of it in just a second. So let's switch this over. And I'm sorry I'm doing this off camera, but I just don't want any of my information exposed as you probably all understand that that would not be a good thing. <laughs> 
So yeah, I mean, I love the look of the YSL. I love that how um, durable it is, how sturdy it is, and it's just gorgeous, but it's just not as user-friendly as the Chanel. So I'm gonna put the YSL down, and I'm going to fill the Chanel up, and I will show you what I mean. So I am putting one in the front, one each in the back, and see here, now I have the one card in the front, one each in the back, and already my fingers slip in here so much more easily than it did for the YSL. And it's so much more easy to get your cards in and out. And it's not, it's not loose. It's not. And the middle compartment, it will open. You can see the opening. It, it will open easily. And with my five bills here, it is no problem slipping these in. I don't have to shove as much as I did with the YSL. So this is what it looks like all filled. And if I wanted to get the cash, I could easily pull it out, pull it back in. If I needed to take a card out, easily in and out. And so that's why I prefer the Chanel so much more than the YSL. I mean, it's both are super gorgeous. Both are so classic. Both are so durable. And you would probably use them so, so much. However, it's just the ease of using the Chanel. And I really do believe it's because of that quarter of an inch width that this is a little bit wider. It just has that much more give when you move your cards in and out. And that's why I do love the Chanel much more than the YSL. And um, yeah, when I'm using this as an alternate to the Chanel, I keep wondering if I, like I keep wanting to use the Chanel and not use this. And so um, I think in the future, if I do see a beautiful color from Chanel come out again, I will probably get that and I may possibly sell the YSL black card holder because although it's beautiful, although I love the look and the functionality of it, it's just not as user-friendly as the Chanel. And I just, I just, yeah, it's just, I love this. I mean, it's everything about it I really, really love. And so, yeah, I just wanted to give you my two cents on that. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.